the real Oppenheimer had a miserable childhood and tried to make up. 1. Oppenheimer was a gloomy but very intelligent child. He was born into a Jewish family in New York. By 9, he was reading Greek and Latin philosophy. The future physicist was also obsessed with mineralogy. He wrote letters to the New York Mineralogical Club about his findings. His letters were so competent that the club mistook him for an adult. The club even invited him to make a presentation. 2. All his life, he suffered mentally and physically. He was often teased and ridiculed for not being like others. Oppenheimer was a picture of nervous exhaustion. He was a tall chain smoker at the Manhattan Project. His weight dropped to just over 115 pounds. At 5 feet 10 inches, this made him extremely thin. He was diagnosed with a psychosis. Oppenheimer even contemplated suicide. 3. He tried to poison his professor. In Cambridge, Oppenheimer's tutor was Patrick Blackett. He insisted Oppenheimer take up experimental physics, but Oppenheimer preferred theoretical physics. The tutor kept on pressuring him. The young student didn't like bullying. He laced an apple with poison and placed it on Blackett's desk. Later, Oppenheimer confessed to the crime. His parents convinced university authorities not to press charges. Oppenheimer faced a few months of probation and a visit to a psychiatrist. He also tried to strangle his friend, Francis Ferguson. On a trip to Paris, Oppenheimer appeared depressed. To cheer him up, Ferguson revealed his upcoming marriage. Suddenly, Oppenheimer started choking him. 4. Oppenheimer's romantic life was a disaster. He was often seeing at least half a dozen women at a time. He had many scandalous sexual affairs. Most of them became public knowledge. He impregnated Kenny Harrison, a married woman. In 1940, they married. 5. Oppenheimer took time to learn Sanskrit. Sanskrit is one of the oldest human languages. This shaped his philosophical views. 6. For the last 20 years of his life, he worked at an institute. Oppenheimer worked alongside Einstein and other physicists. Their fields of study were different, but they did interact often. They worked until Einstein's death in 1955. Einstein wasn't involved in the creation of the nuclear bomb, but the two scientists were almost friends. 7. Oppenheimer was a communist sympathizer. He contributed money to communist groups. He was also under CIA surveillance. Oppenheimer had a high level of clearance. 8. He did his best to ensure that no one created a hydrogen bomb. In 1954, Oppenheimer was investigated by the government. He was stripped of his security clearance. This ended his involvement in political work. 9. Oppenheimer regretted building the bomb. He believed scientists weren't responsible for military decisions. The blood would be on the politicians' hands. But the bombings of Japan shook Oppenheimer's confidence. I think it is for us to accept it as a very grave crisis, to realize that these atomic weapons, which we have started to make, are very terrible. J. Robert Oppenheimer, 1904-1967